it isn't that she's going to be ruined for life by seeing a trans girl's penis in the locker room. In fact, statistically, that won't be the first penis she sees. Um, so I'm generally in opposition to laws that uphold the extermination of minorities. And uh, this, HB 1205, is a bite into the pursuit of happiness of trans kids. Uh, next to come will be another crunch into the liberty of trans kids and adults. And the main course or the final solution, and yes, I intentionally capitalize, final solution is a drooling, snarling chomp that ends the lives of all trans people in this state and the nation. People who can sit and listen to the testimony of actual trans people and stand on the side of this bill, I really question uh, their taste in judgment. The safety issue here isn't largely that someone's cis daughter is going to lose out to a trans girl in sports. Statistically, the data isn't there, and I have that here. I'll give it to you so you can check it out. Um, and it isn't that she's going to be ruined for life by seeing a trans girl's penis in the locker room. In fact, statistically, that won't be the first penis she sees. The slippery slope is toward a future where everyone is looking over their shoulder as they point at each other trying to save themselves from being masticated out of existence by fascism. Just speaking in, in terms of fairness and safety, a lot of these claims are uns unsubstantiated. If you look at records for competitions, there is no categorical area where trans athletes have continuously um, won or have robbed uh, other athletes from awards. So I just want to talk to fairness for transgender girls because in point of fact they will have neither skeletal nor hormonal advantages but the safety issues that we've talked about here today and fairness issues, the problem is that bodies compete, not gender identities. Our current policies right now are teaching young women that they're second class citizens whose needs are subordinate to male needs and desires. And it's wrong for the state to use the force of laws to coerce them to sacrifice their rights to fairness, safety, boundaries, to validate men's gender identities. Miss, you walked right into me. You want to tell me why? You hit me with your shoulder. Are you mad at me? Oh, it's a narrow Is hallway. it okay to hurt people you don't like? Is that what love is all about? Slamming into people who disagree with you? Daily Caller Patriots have access to thousands of exclusive articles and interviews, including with such great people as Tucker Carlson, Megyn Kelly, Candace Owens, Donald Trump Jr. It's time to ditch the corporate narratives and the media spin. You deserve so much better. Become a Daily Caller Patriot today.